Hi everyone, wanted to let you know how the baby snails are getting on. Um, at the time of filming they are three months old, I think, or nearly three months old. Um, and they're doing very well. And uh, as you can see they've grown quite a lot. Um, they are roughly a couple of centimetres in length, um, the sh length of the shell that is. Um, there's two that are slightly smaller, but they were born um, a little bit later than the uh, first batch. Um, and there's one hiding right in the middle in the lettuce. Um, and I filmed this footage just after I'd cleaned them out and it's treat day. So they've got a little bit of cucumber with their leaves and uh, carrot to munch. And yeah, I'll... I like to, once a week, I will just check on them, check on their size, check them, check their shells, see how they're doing. Um, and obviously regularly I'll clean them out anyway. Um, so what I tend to do on a daily basis is I'll take out the food they haven't eaten the next morning and put some fresh in, spray the tank down, make sure it's nice and damp. Because it's a little tank that they're in, it's very, you know, it's very small while they're babies. Um, I do find it dries out quicker than the big tank. Um, so I do spray it every morning to make sure I maintain the humidity in there. And uh, yeah, they're very happy. And they've got a little, that little sort of square thing at the bottom of the screen. That's like a little lid off something and it's all smooth. Um, and I use that now to put the snail mix in and a little bit of water so they get, um, that's when I, they have their snail mix and then in the week I might put like a few fish flakes in or mealworms. Um, but yeah, they tend to have the snail mix once or twice a week depending. Um, and then any other time, it'll just have a little drop of water in, not a lot, literally like a spray so like the surface of the plastic is damp and then they lick the water off the surface um, and they seem to really enjoy that as you can see one of the snails is going straight for that um, and yeah I found they out of the saddle leaves they eat they, they don't like the same leaf as the big snails which is like a very rounded leaf so I take that out of the salad mix that I get but they really like this lettuce with like um, it's got like a, like a very sort of spiky edge even though it's not spiky it's soft and they love carrots and mango banana um quite a few veggies obviously cucumber as a treat um they they're eating quite well actually they eat pretty much the same as what the big ones do um but these guys prefer it a little bit softer the big guys will eat like a, f a firm carrot whereas these will prefer the carrot to be grated up a bit more um, or sliced up like I've done here so they can nibble on it um, and yeah so they're doing very well and I'm quite happy with them um, care wise I find that they're perfectly happy in the same setup as the big ones apart from it's on a smaller scale so obviously this tank is is very small because you don't want to put them in a big tank to start off with because while they're growing um, in this first year, you want them to be able to just find food easily, go to sleep, then come out, find more food, go to sleep. If they spend all night roaming around a big tank trying to find where the food is because they haven't got the best eyesight, um, they'll waste a lot of energy and then you can have it where they don't grow very well. Um, so by doing it this way they get to grow lots and then obviously as they outgrow this tank they have the next tank is already ready and set up for them and then when they outgrow the next one I'll buy another one of the large um, fish tanks that I've got the big ones in um, so they'll have loads of space to roam around and uh, yeah they're doing very well here's one of them with a little face poking out I'm not sure at the moment which one is sliming, but I'm starting to notice um, differences in shell colour and patterning. So at some point I'm going to take some really good quality photos of each snail and then I'll name them. So as you can see this one at the bottom is like a much lighter colour. Um, and there's two that are like a slightly darker colour that are a bit bigger. 
One of them is Sliman and one of them is Sliman's, si Sliman's sibling um, that has caught up with him in size. And yeah, they're very, um, they like to explore, they're quite adventurous. Um, they obviously spend most of their day days munching and then sleeping. Um, but I quite often see them crawling around at the sides of the little tank and everything um, in the early hours of the morning or very late at night um, so obviously I do have to make sure the lid's nice and secure sorry about the ambulance going past um, and yeah they're quite happy and uh, yeah I can't, I can't think of what else to say they're doing very very well and I'm very pleased with how they're getting on and uh, yeah they're so cute so yeah, I thought you would like to see an update of them and just to see how they're getting on. Um, they were born in December. Let me have a look what the date was. I've got it on my calendar. They were born on... Some hatched on the 5th of, 5th of December. Uh, the others hatched on, I think it was the 15th. So the bigger ones hatched on the 5th of December. So they are one to three months and two weeks old that's it hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now